we're back again. Normally I wouldn't show it, but this is my laptop, my Lenovo laptop. Now, as I said before, when it came to the Xbox, or when it came to the PS3, if you're one of those two people, as I said before with the PS3, for some reason when it's turned off, even with the LED lighting up red, indicating that it's getting power, the USB ports still don't do anything, give off any power. With the Xbox 360, whether it's on or off, as long as the power supply is energized and the system has power, it automatically gives it power. Same thing with the laptop, except when it's turned off. When it's turned off, it doesn't flash at all. It doesn't give any power to USB ports whatsoever. So, getting to the point on hand, make sure that your receiver is connected in through the USB port. Give your computer a few minutes before it comes up with the favorable little icon, which I cannot seem to find, where it says that this program has not been involved, the software is installed, and everything else, actually, yeah. Um, and also make sure that you're connected through your headset jack. If all of that is set up and good, and also take a look at your headset, if you're a PS3 user and you didn't hook it up to your Xbox, then you have nothing to worry about considering everything's unhooked unless you hooked in the line-in jack. But if you're an Xbox user and you have it hooked in, make sure everything is unplugged. Everything, except for the power supply. That can stay in. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, as you can see, it's flashing. Turn your headset on. <clears throat> Works just fine. Now comes the greatest part of all. I'm going to go ahead and transition to my laptop and show you the rest. And we're back. Right now I'm actually using the Afterglow headsets just to even record my voice. wonder how well that's going to work. At any rate, uh, there are two things you need to do for this setup to work. Uh, the first one is very simple. Just go to your start menu. Go over to control panel. Make sure you have it as large icons. And scroll down till you see your sound options. Mine are right here. Once when you have your sound options, it will normally be right here. But when you already have the Afterglow hooked up, you'll see it has the headset earphones, which will be these. You need to go ahead and click on that. Make sure it's set under default. So that way it has the check and it works just fine. Then go under sounds, I'm sorry, recordings, and I'll have two different microphones. Now this one's my built-in microphone, and here's my Afterglow microphone. Make sure you select that and set it as default. Now, once when you've unplugged your... Uh, USB and your headset then it will instantly go back will revert back to the built-in microphone and the built-in speakers now if you're a steam user or something like that then there's another process you have to go through go ahead and go to steam go under your settings and you have to go to in-game oh wait sorry wrong one I'm trying to remember which one it was again ah here we go voice sorry about that and you're going to have to change it because normally it would be set as this, but um, you're going to have to make sure it's set to Afterglow. Once when it's set to Afterglow, then everything's fine. Make sure you have it the way you want it, and you can go ahead and test out the microphone as well. In fact, I can hear myself. At any rate, after that, you're pretty much just set up. There's no other problems. And in case you didn't hear me when I was testing the mic, I could actually hear myself with no problems. At any rate, it's a simple process on that. Really, uh, all you have to do is make sure it's downloaded correctly, which it does it by itself. Then make sure you have it set up the way you want it, and everything else is just peachy, <laughs> so to speak. At any rate, this is Vincent Wolf Flame Productions. I'll see you all in another one of my videos.